Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a look. Hey, Nick. Yeah, this is my this looks a lot like your taxi. For some reason, the person Can't be. I parked it way back at the... <laughs> Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick. Think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, two. Numbers, teleporting taxis, math. What is this? Hey, I think I found a way in. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. It's about time. This note. It's directed. Me. My fourth. Will. Of the ten. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone. Taken. Shut up. The... Safe. Empty. I just wanted to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. But, <clears throat> but I'm 
never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <sighs> I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Bad, Jack. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change every... The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. So help. Here goes nothing. worked okay we activate the corridor next Woo! Jesus look at that thing go My brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. No, 
no, no, no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You are not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. No, it's we can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. <laughs> Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Okay, guys, that was, uh, that was pretty much it of the episode. Like I said, nothing, nothing happened during this episode. Um...